Let's do this. There we go. Boom. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. There is Nick Schmidt of Sunshine State RV. There he goes right there. Today we're going to go over this very cute, <laughs> very cute, Nick. Very cute. That's going to be the word of the day. 2022 Winnebago Solus Pocket. The Solus Pocket. We're going to get all up in that pocket right now, give you guys all the details, you know, the, the good, the bad stuff about it. If they're, you know, whatever we find, we're going to get into it with Nick from Sunshine State RV. Let's do it right now. So Nick. Yes. First thing, this is this is really genuinely cute. <laughs> this is cute. It's you know, cute Hank's been asking me. Look at, look at that, it's just a little baby. It's You've little been baby. asking me about this thing for months now. <laughs> Yesterday, when I came into work, there was a transport truck out front, uh -huh. had two of these RVs on it. Right. And so I'm thinking, okay, what are they bringing us, right? And so I pulled up and they got two soulless pockets, our first two we got. Nice. So immediately I took a picture, called Hank, I said, dude, you gotta get over here, yeah. we got the pocket. Brand I new. To see these. Yes. Yeah, these yeah. are really, I really do think they're cute. What we're going to do, so the two of us, we'll go over all the, the details and features yeah. and stuff. This is probably like the first time you've only seen it for the last 20 something hours, probably, right? The pocket? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This, this is, a, I mean, I'm walking through this with you guys fresh. Yes. And new. <laughs> so hopefully so, I get everything right. Yeah. You give us a little bit of leeway, but we're going to do what we usually do yes. go into everything. We'll start going around it get into all the details right now. We're running the engine. Let's uh, start from let's start from that. So so what's the nomenclature of this? Is so it, I don't know what that word means, but so this what is, is it called exactly? Is it a Winnebago pocket? It's or? a 2022 Winnebago Solus pocket. So they got a few different Soluses. So the Solus came out with the PX, the PX uh, and then the, with a pop top and then they made a P with a pop top or without a pop top and then now they're making the Solus pocket. So they had three different sizes of Soluses. One, one is the full size uh, ProMaster, one is the mid size, and this is the first one anybody has built on the 1500. Yeah, so the so the bigger ones are 3500. 3500, 2500, this is the 1500. 15. So this is 17 feet 10 inches. Yeah. Solus pocket. So one of the cool things I think is the it's pretty much the same engine. So oh, it's a V6. It's not pretty much, it's the exact same. Yeah, so V6. Three point, Six liter V6 yeah. gas it's a, engine. It's about 280 horsepower and I think 260 torques, which is great. You're a car guy. You yeah. drive a fancy Audi. I, you know, <laughs> I drive a minivan. I got a lot of kids. I don't. Know Lola's is stuff. like every single time Nick talks about your R8. It's fancy. Like the poor guy. The poor suffering. I, mean, Nick. I have four kids. I drive a minivan. <laughs> Listen, I drove, I drove, um, I drove a ProMaster, I drove a Sprinter, I drove a Ford yeah. Transit. That was a great video, by the way. Yeah, and and this is actually pretty easy and fun to drive, and yep. that was a bigger one. So you this know what people like about the ProMaster is when you're sitting on it, even though this is 17 feet, it still has the same cockpit. You're you're sitting a little higher up, you know, steering wheel's a little higher up, so you feel like yeah. you can see the road. You have some good control. You know, people really like driving these yeah. ProMasters. So this is probably the easiest to drive of all the men. Oh, it's 17 feet. My wife's yeah. my wife's SUV is like 18 feet. So this is smaller than a full blown like Tahoe or Suburban or Escalade. This is smaller and actually cheaper also. So pretty crazy. You know, uh, I know we we typically cover price and all that stuff at the end. But one of the big attractions of this is it's cheaper than, or the same price as most minivans, same price as most Jeeps, cheaper than most luxury SUVs, and it's an RV. Yeah. You can finance it for 20 years. Insurance rates are half of what a car or, or an SUV is because the RV, they don't expect you to drive it much. So insurance is cheaper. Payments are, I mean, payments are cheap. Yeah, so this, and I don't talk about cheap much because I don't believe in cheap. I believe in high quality, great RVs, but I was yeah. shocked. So here's my thing. We always talk about this when we start making these videos. Yeah. Who is this for? Like, who is the person? That's a great question. You know, I to me, it seems like in, like if you're working and you want to have like a second vehicle for weekend adventures, mm -hmm. instead of buying a Jeep or instead of buying a pickup truck and a travel trailer, you can buy one of these things and you can use it off-road, you can boondock in it. There's a lot of flexibility that you can use this. I know you were asking about full-timers. That'd be a little difficult, I think, but you know, if someone has a will, there's always a way. You Absolutely. know, people full-time in tents. So, yeah. I mean, you can definitely full-time, but I think it's for the weekend adventurer who wants to go to this forest, this park, 
this thing here and and you know just check things out but i think that there's a lot of flexibility in it a lot okay so yeah we'll talk about that a little bit more let's uh let's walk around it yeah. um i noticed the so one of the things here that you you get the uh the cladding the bumpers and that yeah. other stuff yeah, is so, your polymer so if you notice the other one in Vegas, so we got one right there yeah. Hank. so yeah so here you go. a let's lot of these it. have what they call the deluxe paint where they paint the bumpers yeah. and all this stuff which you looks know, great it does look great yeah. it's not necessary on everything so you know on 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 these solaces one way to keep the price down is is they're not painting anything extra that didn't come from dodge painted yeah so all of that is is the way it is this particular one has steel wheels and, and there again this is this is a base option what we're offering here at sunshine state rvs is modifications if if people want we have really nice off-road wheels nice fancy black wheels that really dress this thing up a lot yeah and and give you a little more tread or traction if you're trying to get a little off-road. Yeah. And you know, I don't know if I'd go out in the Moab or Quartzsite with it. <laughs> so one of the things but. I one of the things I would say when we're talking about the people who might buy this, um, this is not a four by four and it's not all wheel drive, it but it's not. front wheel. It is. So that's not gonna be bad in inclement weather. It's not. You know, and if uh, if you do add some more aggressive tires or whatever it is you feel like you do all the time, or if you just want to put some sexy tires, uh, rims or something like that on there, yeah. you could do it. You definitely can. And we you guys could do that, right? We have all different types of options for that. We have people all the time wanting to buy the the two-wheel drive rvs but put the off-road tires on it just gives you a little extra traction yeah. and because it's lighter you'll be able to go further yeah so let's so, uh let's go around the side here yeah so winnebago puts their nice big running board on you know it goes from the front all the way to the back nice big step helps you get in mm -hmm. um you know kind of as you're walking around you see you have a light up here there's still you marker know, lights which are, uh, winnebago uh, likes that now one of the things i want to do while we're up here the mirrors a lot of this stuff from what i've heard is exactly the same as what you would typically get on a pro master yeah. i think the these mirrors are uh manual though that's one of the things yeah that's one of the things we'll, we'll mess around with it when we get in there so we've got winnebago here lights there um the, the, these windows they slide open yeah yep. so you can open that yeah um and then we're going to keep going this way it's not a lot <laughs> there's not a lot to see <laughs> You gotta walk for years. <laughs> it's not a lot, yeah. They try uh, to make it to where it's. It looks like there's a. It's, does this window open too? We'll it does. See when we go in there. They try to make it a little stealthy oh, looking. Well, you know, yeah. a lot of people would would take this off. You know, it's funny. We had one the other day, a small Pro Master that that somebody put a a locksmith service on the side of it. They put no phone number, no website, and no name of the company. Just put a big sign that says locksmith service. Well, so, this is gonna be the most stealthy. So it looks like a work van. Yeah. And, this will be the most stealthy. Yeah. I think the colors you get are white, silver, silver and red. red. Yeah. So, so the red is this yeah. color right here. Yeah. Which is so sharp. Like People like that. Yeah. So yeah, you can do that because there's not a lot of stuff outside as you guys will see as we walk around yep. that gives it away that it's an RV. Maybe the AC up there. That's a yeah. Coleman 110, I think. Right? But I mean, work vans have that also. Yeah they, yeah, they typically have those. So, so we do have a towing hitch here. Yep. Uh, which I'm going to say what comes in handy it does you want to put a box back here you want to put a box stuff? you know one of the one yeah. of the ideas that hank had about full time is possibly towing a small travel trailer behind it yeah so a, a small travel trailer and this can give you some great um some great capability some added stuff because you don't get space. a generator with this you don't get a generator there's no inverter you get yeah. an air conditioner if you're plugged in right um, so you can only run that roof ac if you're plugged in that is correct so other than that you would have to um you would have to run your ac from the engine that is correct yeah and but there are batteries we looked underneath yep, there's two agm batteries that okay. power everything in the coach yeah. so and if you want to we always talk about this if you want to you can always upgrade those <laughs> you can you can upgrade those to battleborn lithium batteries if yes. you like battleborn has a great Absolutely. reputation they yep. do a lot of good stuff very easy to upgrade yeah. uh, so, so here's your that's is, it that's all you got out here well this is your um your hose here for your propane yeah so you can reach in here let me see if i can get some light in there to show people we'll show you guys but right there's the propane tank which is one of there you go they can see it can i see that one of the cool things about this that's a regular size propane tank that you can actually take out and take yep. into it's a around the back, for example. Yep. Yep. So you can get uh, propane pretty much anywhere. Is there a propane situation going on? There's, there's like a know. shortage of propane. It was like when there was a shortage of toilet paper. Why? Yeah, I don't know how that happens in America. Things, I don't know. <laughs> America has more natural gas and propane than anywhere right, else on dude. the planet. But I yeah, stopped so asking questions <laughs> and just so go with no. the flow. So yeah. this is the uh, plug here. So this is where you Short would power. plug in for shore power. Um, I would imagine a lot of people, 
I mean, you know, you can go to a campground, you can plug in and get your air conditioning for the night, you can shower mm -hmm. at, at the campground there because this does not have a shower. I will cover that more when we get in yeah, there. Exactly. There's not a traditional shower like, like most uh, small RVs have. Yeah. Um, but if you're staying at a campground, if you go to Fort Wilderness, that's where my kids love to go, or mm -hmm. they did when they were a little younger. Now it's not. Yeah, they're grown. They're spoiled too. They're, they're, they're a little bit. They're grown. <laughs> we're starting to get college acceptance letters, Hank. So congratulations. It's a different stage of life I'm in right now. Um, yeah. <laughs> but if if you go to Fort Wilderness, you you can shower there, use the bathroom yeah. there, sleep in this, you know, air conditioner, fridge, all that yeah. stuff. And there's a lot neat. of truck stops around the country that are very clean. Um, have showers yeah. and stuff like that as well. So I can't say I've ever tried that, you, but you could try it. Yeah, I mean, I haven't tried it yet. I'll when I do it, I will definitely make videos for people. <laughs> but you know, that's what you have to do if you're compromise. If you want something small and light and easy yes. to drive yes. and within your budget, that's one of the compromises yeah, you make. I agree. Um, this is the exhaust, right? Exhaust, yes. Right there. So there's your exhaust. The engine is like somewhere. Oh, the engine there. is right here in this area. So. Normal fuel, 20, yes. 24 gallon gas yep. tank. This would probably be amongst the most efficient. Yes. Uh, I don't know the numbers for that yet either. <laughs> and that's basically, you've got some running lights up there. So that's why one of the things you can turn this into a very stealth van, mm -hmm. taking off a few stickers and, and you know, you can turn this into a very stealth van where people wouldn't know that it's an RV. Yep. They would think that it's more of a work van or just a cargo van and no one ever gives those types of vans issues if you're camping or parking no. or doing things. And this can literally, like, I mean, really... I mean, 17 feet. 17 feet. That's crazy. Yeah. So you can, you know, you can go anywhere with this, get in and out. So uh, now, as we'll see when now, we do the test drive after this, right, Nick? Uh, I'm now pinning you down to that I've never right driven now. with you, Hank. I don't know. <laughs> You'll be safe. I don't you know, You saw dude. the video of me driving. Did you let was me anyone, drive? Was anyone scared? I don't know. No, dude. I have to drive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> my life insurance is up to date, but not you that You don't sound today. very confident about know, driving. I don't drive with many people, Hank. <laughs> oh, okay. Especially <laughs> guys at Stranger Palooza. I mean, what's that even mean? <laughs> um, this, oh, hey. means this. Okay, so table. I we're like here. This. Yeah, we are here. Um, Welcome I, I, to the like, Solus Pocket. So Winnebago always puts these tables here, which is cool. They do. It, yeah. I mean, just, I just love this stuff, man. Like, who thinks of this, right? Yeah, I need one of these on my. Uh, to be I need one of these on my car. I mean, yeah. Go ahead. And so you can move that up and down. You can push it in. Push it in. Slide. Oh, there. push it in. You can move it to whatever position you want and then level that out, obviously. You know, so, whatever is on the Winnebago brochure, they show a guy here with raw steak seasoning it. Right here. <laughs> so that's an interesting thing to do right here. Throw it on the grill right here. You know, yeah. lots of cool things. It's, you know, you want, you want to cook outside hey, if you can. This is what I love. They didn't just waste an area. Yeah. They utilize it. Yeah, you they utilize the everything. Something else pretty cool. Let me, let me get around you here. Right. We got a screen. This is another Check thing. I think Winnebago's, this kind of stuff comes with it, which is always very nice. It does. So Look at that. Zip it. And it's magnetic. Look at that. So we're here, we're zipped. We're there down, no bugs. Down. And you can still go in and out. Still go in and out, pretty neat. Look at that, awesome. Yeah. Pure awesomeness there. So then, I did that a little prematurely, so I wanted to show you the fridge. Right. So the fridge here, am I rolling this right way? Oh, this. This is what I love right this here. This stays there. Yeah. This the caveman up. in the wild. I don't get the wild stuff much. <laughs> so as as we're rolling, this, what I want to show you was the fridge. Uh -huh. So so it does come with a fridge. It is a 12 volt fridge. So it's really nice that the fridge can work even without an inverter, without a generator, without being plugged yeah. in. It just works on those two AGM batteries. So as those AGM batteries are being used, they're also being charged by the solar panels on top. So it's a couple hundred watts of solar. Yeah, we'll roll that in for you. I need to get a ladder or something. Yep, a couple hundred watts of solar. Yep. As your engine's going, it'll also charge. But what's neat is, so you got a little fridge here. Yep. As you open it, you can access it there. So if Hank yeah. wants one of his uh, Guinness, drinks. his Guinness uh, dark beer. Being from England, don't Guinness you drink that dark style. beer? Uh, you know, I'm from the Caribbean, really. I lived in England, but which, you know, it's kind of, yes. 
The answer is yes. So I drink a Guinness Stout every now so and then. So the Caribbean beer is like a red stripe, is that right? Uh, Jama that's Jamaica. Every oh. every different place has a different thing. But I you, didn't you do know, too we, well in we geography drink, class. Yeah, we drink a, we drink a we drink a Guinness Stout. Well, Jamaica is in the Caribbean. That's true. So, I'm from Guyana, but yes, you could put you could put eggs here, I guess. I, I that you would do be eggs. Funny. You could do your little whatever's here drinks. Uh, nice size fridge. Yeah. This can last two people a couple of days. Worth so of you can fit there. four Ben and Jerry's in there, the little rolly ones, just throw them in there. Yeah. Hey, Did hey, they actually give you I ice trays? Found, I that. found a pretty wow, sweet invention trays. the other day. You know how Ben and Jerry's are a little bigger? They're about, they're about that big. Uh -huh. They're making these small ones now. They're about that big by about that big. And it's like are you allowed perfect, to eat those? Those I am. And oh. it's like the perfect. So those must be like, a, like what, 200 calories? Something like oh. that. Yeah. So the perfect yeah. size. So as we're here, we're getting to see some of the functionality. So we have a, a cigarette lighter uh, charger here and USB ports. USB. These both work on 12 volt. So right now they'll work because yeah. they're running on the battery. Right. This is a 110 plug. These 110 plugs will work with uh, it plugged in. Sure power. Or if you want to add an inverter, you can do that as well. Yeah. Um, there are lights here for the coach. Both of those That's are very 12. Cool. Um, as well. I like this. Winnebago puts this in quite a few different of this their vans. This floor is indestructible. There's nothing yeah. you can do to scratch or dent or, or beat up this floor. Yeah, it's like a shop floor. Yeah. And it's also got a lot of traction on it. Oh, we don't so want to give away that secret yet. Oh. We don't want to show people that. We'll, That's we'll show later. that in a minute. Yeah. Pretty That's nice. The dessert in here as we go. Pretty nice. We got cabin. the front spun around. So the front seat there right. is uh, spun around to where you can make a little dinette up front. This seat here does also spin. Check out that rear view mirror. That looks yeah. like you're watching TV up there. This is one of the cool things that I like. Um, so this is a digital rear view. Yeah. So even if you have um, everything down here in the back, Oops, sorry. you can actually, if so if you've got your blinds and everything down, you could still see out there. Um, but it makes sure that you can have uh, really good visibility back there you can adjust it here I'll just press buttons I'm not gonna pretend to actually know but well, as you guys can see the you camera can, up one moves yeah, it down one dim makes it brighter it. yeah you know you can do all kinds of stuff let me see I think so you're uh, move it up and down and eh, no no Nick here you you go in there let's see. and run it people do say I'm the class B expert Hank oh that turned it off yeah because you can go to just normal mirror mode there we go that one right there Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, you genius. <laughs> I've been in a few of these in my lifetime, Hank. That's a cool feature. I like the I like the fact It's the simple things in life that impress me. I gotta tell you, it's the simple <laughs> things in life. Yeah. That's actually pretty cool, man. So yeah. pretty cool. This does have Apple CarPlay as well. Um, up front you have air conditioner, you got your power locks, you got more USB ports, mm -hmm. anything you need here. This seat does swivel. Right now it is facing backward or front to drive. In a minute, we're going to show you the different ways that this cool bed system can do. And when we do that, we'll swivel the seat yeah. and show you. But yeah, nice. There's lots of... Um, Hank, do you see how like I'm, I'm higher up, like in a lot of other ones, like I'm higher up yeah, driving? You feel closer. You do. To, to, you do. You feel like you can see road. a lot. Yeah. Big, huge mirrors on both sides with the little bottom part. I like that a lot. Yeah. How you can see the little bottom part right there. Yeah. And as I said, there's no power. There's no power for the for the mirrors, but you can you can adjust those. We try it. Rolling the. Uh, yeah. Rolling once I have it down. set, I usually don't change. Yeah. But this there's a lot of uh, cup holders up uh, here. Three up here. If you guys are interested. There's a lot of cute shelving space to tuck stuff. things away when you're driving. Yeah. That's like you could put a clipboard. There's another cup holder right here. So you got four cup holders. Yep. There's another one right here. So we got five. There's USB there. right there. I don't know how many cups people need in this world, but another USB. How All the cups, Nick. All, All the, the cups. cups. All the cups. I'll show this. I'll ro I'll let you guys uh, pause here if you want to see some of the details. Yeah, pretty neat. Okay. A 17 feet 10 inches. The height, exterior height's nine feet five inches. Uh, the width, the the interior height six foot three, which mm. would, uh, which is great. Um, fresh water capacity is 20 gallons. Um, this actually does not have a water heater. This has a furnace, yeah. a Truma furnace, but no so uh, hot water heater. So it can heat up the van, but you cannot heat up water in here, just so you that, guys know. That is a true statement. Yeah, and there is there is no, there's an external shower and everything. Yeah, and we're gonna cover the oh. bed yeah. and the facilities in a second. So these seats up here are cloth. They are, yeah. But, uh, you know, they seem like they're tough. Well, you know, for the outdoorsman, this is what we prefer, Hank. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> you could cover this. You could do whatever you want you to with it. Cat skin the, makes a great leather. Yeah, because of the price that this is coming in at, this is what you're what you're getting here. Yeah. So you know that's well, that's just know, the reality of what we're dealing with. Uh, Winnebago has done a great job of listening to what the customer wants, mm -hmm. and, and with everything getting so expensive, I mean, our the RVs are creeping up. These these Class Bs mm -hmm. are you know 150, 180, 200 thousand, mm -hmm. and it's like that's just not for everybody. It's for some people, but it's not for everybody. So yeah. there are there's a whole segment of of people that really want an RV. But they just can't swing that. And so they don't want to wait until they can. They want to start getting into the lifestyle, getting into it mm -hmm. now. And so this is a perfect alternative for that. That it, it can be a great weekend thing, long weekend, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, this thing can sit at your house for, you know, not much money. You can use it every weekend whenever yeah. you want, you know. I mean, yeah, you know, because of how the finance. I got a lot of friends of mine that have Jeep Wranglers that they just use on the weekends or yeah. motorcycles. Or, I mean, this is the same price as a lot of that stuff. Yeah, you can have this and you can still put your motorcycle in it, which we'll get into. So as you come out there, I'll show there is a little pocket up here. Um, I hey, a pocket. People call this like, <laughs> yeah, funny that. Um, so people call this, I think, the pizza oven or something. But there's lots of space up here. I could put my arm all the way, all the way in. There's, a light right there's here. space. This, um, this light switch should be somewhere here. Uh, where is it? Uh -huh. uh, is it this? No. No. I don't think, wait. Let me see. I don't think it's this. Oh, oh there you go. Look at oh. That. So, oh, I know what this is. So you can go middle off, and this is low, on high, and middle of the switch. Takes That's it pretty around. cool. Yeah, like I said, I'm. We could we could just, we just play got with this, this all day. We just got this yesterday. We just sent our whole entire sales team to uh to to Iowa this week to go to the Winnebago factory. So they came back with with two observations. One that it's stinking cold in Iowa and it's not At cold this time, in Florida. Right it's now? snowing. No, it snowed in Iowa. In this Iowa, week. Yep, of I course, promise. of course it is. Second observation was they love the soulless pocket. That's what they all came back to. Like, Vic, when are we getting a soulless pocket? I'm like, hey guys, we got one yesterday. So Shelly, Chuck, Richie, everybody was so excited that yeah. we got one. So they actually showed it to me this morning before you <laughs> These came. These are cute. These are they so kind of walked fun. me through it and showed me yeah. everything. So and Iowa's cool. I spend I spend uh, time in Iowa from time to time and. Uh, I would love to go check out Winnebago one of these days. It, it, they said yeah. one of our ladies, Shelly, used to work at a GM factory, mm -hmm. and, and she's been to every RV factory. Mm -hmm. She said the Winnebago factory is most like a car factory, the way that they do things, mm -hmm. and she was so impressed with it. Yeah. Very, very impressed with the Winnebago factory. Yeah, I think factory. we see that the way that they put their layouts and everything is, is pretty so I'm cool. actually going to come so over here. Uh, let, where do you so want to start? You want to start, I'll start here right with here. This, with this so, here. this is very neat. They got a whole engineering team together, right. and they so figured this out. this is a lagoon. No, it is a, is it a, a fagoon. Oh, what this does that mean? A fake lagoon. Oh. <laughs> like your full, oh, so, oh, full okay. X. <laughs> oh, I see. This is a fagoon. So it's not actually, okay. All right, I see. It's I'm, not actually. I'm showing the people a little bit. You okay. might get a, a cease and desist order. <laughs> oh, if you say that. <laughs> it is some kind of. It is some table. kind of adjustable table on a swinging arm <laughs> of an unknown in name. a small RV. Yeah. So pretty neat. You can have a laptop here. You can be working, seeing everything. This this is a yeah. great nighttime shade when you want to use it. I like the fact that these are built in, man. I'm it's a there. Fan of that. It's yeah. down. You can roll Leave it. Leave it down. Leave it down. Well, yeah. I will. The light. I'll put it right there. Just yeah, like since that. We have the doors closed. We can use. So it. pretty neat there. Yeah. Uh, nice cup holders. This is a great working area. You know, any way you want to do it. Yeah. Great working you can area. Have someone sitting right across. From we can here. play cards. Yeah. So yeah. great area here. Nice cubbies. They take advantage of every of cubbies. And everywhere. then these open. These both of these things do open Look at here. That. Yeah. And there's pass throughs, so you can remove these oh, yeah. plastic things, and you can plug your Check stuff that. in. Here. Oh, and USB ports here. Yeah. One ten plugs right here. Yeah, this is cool. Dude, this is sweet. I mean, so you could put your laptops in here. So you laptops, can have her laptops. Char I don't let my kids charge any of their devices in their rooms. So if they were sleeping back here, I'd make them charge their stuff up here. Uh, okay, I don't know if, know if I even want to know why. <laughs> They're kids, man. They don't need <laughs> iPhones in their rooms at night, you know, watching TV. Yeah, well, that's true. Otherwise, they might never be trolling my YouTube videos and like making comments, making yeah. fun of their dad, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. Um, okay. we, take, we, we enjoy all of that. <laughs> they do always want to watch the videos and make fun of me. Yeah. Um, all right. So now I'm going to show you what else this can do. It's pretty cool. So we are going to, like, what, do a snap? We're going to do a snap. Boom. I feel like Thanos. And now it's a twin size bed <laughs> for people a little yeah. shorter than me. Yeah. Well, 
Yeah. <laughs> if you're if you're uh, as tall as oh. Nick is, I'm six oh, foot myself. tall. My yeah. feet are on the edge and my head's on the seat. But this is hey, this is not bad. If I had a pillow right here, I could definitely do this. Yeah. Or uh, yeah, you could put your feet if you like your feet or, up. You yeah. Put your feet that way. I mean, this isn't bad at all, really. Yeah, it's not. It's really not like. I mean, obviously, if you had like a kid or yeah. You know, teenager or something like that. Perfect. But a grown, a grown person could tough it out. So just, just to show you guys. Yeah. I mean, so this, bed. This is so bed mode. A bed. There are a few other ways. Yeah. Are we gonna do more ways? You want to see them? Yeah. Let's do another one. <laughs> Boom. And now we have so a couch. Fun, Nick. Look at this. Okay. How awesome this is. So we've done three things so far. Three things: a dinette with a right. a fagoon table. Okay. Right. A twin size bed. Uh huh. And now this is like a sofa. Like Love. I mean, let me sit next to me. Yeah. If you're look entertained. Look how much room there is here. Multiple people. Hey, look at this. Boom. We Where could probably st we could probably still get Lola in here on we could. this. We could. So yeah. So this is like nice little. Lots of space. Yeah. Very is, there, is there another thing this does? There is. There's another one? There you is. want to do another one? Well, We're let's doing... show them this first. Stand okay. up and let's All show right. them. <laughs> I mean, look at this. Yeah. So basically... That's, a, that's good room there. The cushions off an angle. So you got your cup holders there. Yeah. Nice couch. You got a little storage underneath. If mm -hmm. you want to leave it like this all the time, you can. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, there's so many that's different... not bad. Yeah, it's neat. Yeah. Okay. There is all another right. one. Let's do another one. Boom! Look at that! Look how lucky I just got! Man, it's like you're in the club now. It's you a got party! Some, it is the ladies hanging out with you. So, this thing also turns into a love seat. Yes. And so you have armrests here, you got a nice back to it. I mean, you can fit. Too. Two, and I'm comfortable. You, you can fit yeah. 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 The two skinny people and one large person. Oh, oh, yeah. there you go. Yeah, we didn't have to get any help at all. Right? We hired models. And <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you guys look great. But so there you go for everyone to see. This you is can, very comfortable. You can get three people sitting there. And uh, is there, is, I think there's one more, right? There is. Well, by the way, this is my wife, Mary. I always mention her Hello. on the video. This is Hank's wife, Lola. Oh, is that who this is? I mean, this is. <laughs> it is. No good self. <laughs> so, yes. So, even in a 17-foot RV, there are four of us in here very comfortably. Hank right. is hanging out yeah. on the swivel passenger seat. I'm here seat. all by myself. Yeah. I'm not allowed to sit on the love seat. You are not allowed. I'm obviously not to <laughs> allowed to be a member of, of the love seat. This is the cool kids. And then, we're buddies yeah. now because you guys are buddies. Yes. We yeah. just met five minutes ago. And we're yeah. actually going to leave and go to dinner. We're going to go shopping. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to pretend I'm a lot of people watch this video. Hey? <laughs> <laughs> I hope a lot of people watch this video. Yeah, I'm going to pretend I'm shocked by that. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah. So, so, check it out. I mean, lots of room, really. You know, yeah. so what we did on this one was we took the back from from the bed back here. Yeah, we, haven't, we haven't really talked about this. We'll show you guys that here in a second. We, we took that. The ladies go shopping mm -hmm. to get us there. nice Christmas presents, yes. hopefully. So <laughs> it is It is yeah. very, uh, <laughs> like I said, this is the fourth way you can do it. So you can do the dinette table, mm -hmm. you can do the twin size bed, wow. you can do a couch, or you can do a love seat. Yeah. This, this is the most comfortable way to me. Yeah. I agree. I agree. It's cool. And it's really, once you know what you're doing, it's really not that difficult to do it. So I'm not sweating, Hank. So, I mean, I yeah. didn't have to call Chuck in here to help no, me Chuck was not figure here. this out. I mean, the guy who was just in Iowa <laughs> Who got trained by Winnebago didn't have to help no, me. We, do didn't, this. we don't need Chuck. <laughs> so, yes. Need so, we snap and we'll get another one. So okay, there's, so. There's a table in here. So, this turns into a dinette? It does. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah. You guys missed that. But, no. we'll get, unfortunately, you know, the eye candy has to go. Boom! There you go, Nick. This is the fifth and final way yep. <laughs> that you can do in this soulless pocket. So, this so is. So, this is a three point C belt. Yeah, so this one isn't obviously, but this it's one not. is. Yeah. This, this has a seat belt right now. There's no table here. Mm -hmm. There's nothing. You guys still have your cup holder. You can sit here. You can drive facing forward. You can hang out. But it's nice having this seat belt here. Yep. Gives you gives you the capability of having another person. Yeah, so you can have three passengers in here, and you can sleep three people. You can. At least. Yep. You could probably sleep four if you really wanted to. This thing goes up. Um, in this. Look at that. There yeah. you go. So this seat, certified passenger. Certified passenger there. Yeah. You can have someone sitting there. You know, in RVs, a lot of people don't mind having, having people going both ways in the dinette. Yeah. Um, but mm -hmm. the seatbelt wise, I'm glad they give you that third seatbelt in case you do want yeah. it. But you know, you can still just grab the mount and the leg and the table. Yeah. And you can have that. That's pretty. Table that's there. pretty handy right here. It is. Yeah. Um, and so that, that's the mount for the, whatever table that is. And that little vent right there is part of the heat. So there is yeah. a Truma heater on board. Right, and there's storage here too. And there is storage in there. In here. Storage there. Yeah. What that's do they cool. call these things? Molly? Would you say? Yeah, this is Molly. Yeah. 
So in other words, you can strap, like in the military, there's different straps and things like, you know, military law enforcement or whatever is where it started. But a lot of civilians use it. You could strap things through there and have them hanging off of that. Yeah, pretty neat. Yeah. So this, this little area here has turned out to be a very, very <laughs> useful. I'm impressed very useful area yeah and those ladies who magically appeared in here for like five seconds they should have stayed longer they were impressed also <laughs> we'll just go with that uh cabinet tree yep cabinet so pretty neat so, so you see this little metal thing right here it does uh, stick up here as a magnet Ooh, magic. Lot, lots of space here more plugs more charging so there's a roof access port right here yeah so which we'll show we'll show the top of that when we get a ladder out we here we will yeah but that um, that's so, great for a uh, a Wii Boost for your cell service if you mm -hmm. wanted an internet um, router antenna on the roof. So so there's already a thing you can just wire it down there. So you there. don't have to worry about drilling holes. And correct. Stuff, which correct. I really do like that. I know yeah, that seems it's simple. Great. <laughs> it is great. That's what everyone worries about for doing aftermarket stuff. Yep. So that's awesome. I think it's a great way to hold these cabinets at least. Yeah, like there is a max fan in here, as you guys can see right here. There is. There's, a smoke, there's at least, no, there's two smoke detectors. So there's one there and one right past your head there. Um, let's go, to, do you want to, because this this thing right here, we spent a lot of time, which is amazing. We did. Um, now we're so in the kitchen. kitchen. What do you got? Two burner gas stove. Right, so we showed the propane outside. We'll show we that did. again. So this is pretty neat here. There's a little QR code there if you want to zoom in on there, Hank. Yep, so you guys can, uh, you guys Use can your, in. bring your uh, phone right up to the screen. Now with like menus and restaurants, everyone knows how to use a QR code. I never knew what they were I until refuse. then. I refuse. I always ask that. for a paper menu. Yeah, too. exactly. Something about sitting, looking at a menu, yeah. ordering your food. Right. So you got a little Absolutely. sink here. Yeah. Um, there's a few cabinets, nice big cabinets here. One or drawers, I should say. Pretty good size. This little fancy thing here. And then a bigger one here. This is what they call the trash can cabinet. So you can put a little trash can in there. Okay. Nice size. Nice. Um, and then the, the, these vents here are just because the fridge is here, right? Correct. Okay. So this is very neat. People absolutely love this so here's Molly another, door. Yeah, here's another, and you can see here's a Molly pack on it. Oh, is this a Molly pack? Yeah. So you can actually, there's two straps right here. See that? Oh yeah, it it's pretty neat. You yeah. can put all kinds so you of stuff can molly strap that. You have some of this in your Beyond, don't you? Yes. That's cool. So this is cool. This is a cool little bag. You can keep stuff in. You can even molly things to the molly to the to this. Those little hooks everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. So that, if you want to keep, um, if you want to keep your dog back here, so, or so, even if you have stuff back there, you can so keep what's it very closed. neat is that this opens and closes. There are magnets here. And there's yeah. also a magnet. Hold on, let me yeah, I'll just go and show those magnets right there. Let me jump back there and move that okay. table. Yeah. So, in all our magic, tables have moved around a little bit. Yes, things have moved. Put that up there if you would. Yeah. Okay, here we go. It's the game of uh, musical chairs. Yes. Which so we must do. So this here, also magnets here. So if you don't want to deal with it, it stays there, it doesn't move. Yeah. So you can't walk through here freely. There are these ram tracks here. So they're both sides there. Right there. They're also back there. here as well. So you could uh you could strap down bicycles back Bikes, here. Bikes, moped, whatever dirt bike. Which um, is great. Kayaks. Yeah. You know, depends on what size you have and what you have. Yeah, but it, it just gives a lot you of storage right it just here. gives you that that extra uh, flexibility mm -hmm. and now this is a pass through storage area but it's also this is the bed so yeah. if you have your dog uh fence dog your molly door up and oh, then yeah. let me walk out so let me see here should i do it this way yeah i'll walk out here do you here i'll hold this for you just go ahead and open that up oh we're gonna have so, to let the camera adjust we drop this down. Boom. And pull then this will pull over. down, and then you got a bed. So now you oh, you have a bed. And there's a, uh, hold on. There's a, so there's a little thing filler there. right here. And so you've got the, because of the windows, the way the windows are here, you got it. So Velcro, you can leave of, it up, but yeah. you can also zip it and unzip it there. To get fresh air, nighttime, you want to zip it. There are USB ports here if you need to charge your devices. There's some great charging ports there. They give you some nice storage up here as well. There's nets and then you got cabinets yeah. here. Yeah, so this is a great, this is six foot that are also three. Magnetized. Let's yeah. put this up. Yep. So six foot three from side to side here. So that way you can sleep up here. And then look down here. This is great for your furry friends. Yeah. You put a dog crate down here. It can be a kennel at night. You can store stuff in here. <laughs> 
<laughs> all, we're, we're playing uh, Where's Nick? <laughs> I can, dude. I got kids that'll fit down there. Yeah, so you can get up here. Get up on the. You can get up on this bed. Get up on the bed. Yeah. I you bet you. The, there we go. Oh, there you go. There we go. So, so let's see if you could. Uh, I can sleep this let's way. Let's show the people. The people need to know a reference point. Look at that. Six foot tall, sound asleep. It's totally good. And then I'm gonna flip and come around the other side. You're not getting in bed with me. Well, uh, you know. I guess you can climb I mean, there. If I you guess need. if you don't want me to. It's all right. I understand. Just so we can, you know, so people can see that full story. This is a lot of storage. Oh, it's a lot. And one of the things that you were saying for, you know, using this every day, Nick. If you're, um, if you're every, if you're using this as like an everyday vehicle. So let's yeah. say. In, in case people out there can't necessarily afford, not everyone could have two, three vehicles. Correct. So if you were using this every day, you could use this thing. You, you can use it every day. You, you just keep the bed up. up. You got tons of room. Yeah. You got extra seats up front. I mean, that is awesome. 17 foot. This will 100% fit in a normal parking spot. Yeah. Anywhere sure you go. go in there, Nick. Look, I'll demonstrate right now. Let's see, Hank. Look at this. Man, how many doesn't trust me with the camera How many much? strangers can fit in? Look at that. You could even sleep another well, I mean, you can't sleep no, down here. Not another Hank Strange, but I can fit my 10-year-old down there. It's a lot of room. It's a lot of stuff you could put in here. I like this. Um, lots of pockets in here to store stuff underneath here that's already built in, which is awesome. So that is the I think this comes off. There. Yeah. And here. this is the water system here. Yeah, so let's so, go through that. So pretty neat. This is how this is, you know, they make this an all-season coach. And one of the ways is they have all the water stuff on the inside. Um, so you do have a solar extension here if you want to add more solar. You have USB ports and cigarette lighter charging ports here, 110 plugs. This is how you fill your water or you uh, can hook fresh water up right here. And this is how you drain and all that. Mm -hmm. And this is your gray tank drain. So the gray tank hooks to the sink right. that's in the kitchen and you can do that. And there obviously would be no black tank here. That's Oh hey, we, we didn't that. show the toilet. Yeah, we'll, we'll go back in and we'll gotcha. show that for sure. Okay, so then, uh, but so yeah, so this opens, right? So this does open. Yep, which we're supposed to those. Uh, Perfect. Let's see, is that how it is? Yep, just like that. Wait, hold on. Yep, yep. I feel like it's not. There it is. There, okay. It's open, it's just like this. It's a little stuck. Snap your fingers. There you go. There it is. Okay, we're going to pretend. Yeah, you just have to make sure that you get in the latches in the right in the right place on that. But nice. there you go. So this is a regular propane tank. Yeah, so you just undo the strap, you pull it out, go swap it out, fill it up. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, pretty convenient. Um, I like that, because you can even just get another one. Yeah, you can carry you two can have an extra, with you. Yeah. Whatever you want. You can have an extra, or like Walmarts, for example, don't do the traditional propane fill up and all that. So you, you know, you've got to walk in one of those yeah. and exchange it and everything. So it is easier cool. to find a place that, that will swap a tank then to fill your RV up. Yes, it is. So it is. pretty neat right here. There's a spray port jack. So you can hook this in here like that. And now you have, have a cold water. Shower. You can have a cold shower. Actually pretty neat as well. There is an annex, they call yes. it. Yes. <laughs> so let's annex okay. ourselves here. Uh-huh. This so is going to be fun. And here. Right. So this hooks in right there. And you can lock it. Lock it right there. Yes. <laughs> but we got to do this before we... That. So yeah, so there. So this is the. Um, this this is, is like your your shower curtain, I guess. This is. It goes over. Oh, here's curtain. the straps. Yeah, I see. So, so there. I think you should charge extra for this one because you and I used it. So whoever buys this from you, you can go. Hey, we this use is, this. This thing. is the Hank Strange. You know, we'll sign it for you. If we you we want. will sign it. Yeah. Check. That out. So there's so there that. Go. So you can get privacy because I think that goes. This is this. big enough to go even on the inside. It looks like. Yeah. Goes here. Goes there. Yeah. So you could put this probably on the so inside. So then, yep. I'm sneaking a peek at you. So then, this is where you Over can the, shower. Yeah. So if you the, imagine like a naked, hairy neck in here. But then also check this out. Hold on. Showering. <laughs> You're, you're, you know what? You're having too much fun with this. Thing. I am. Now what? Oh boy. This is the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> porta potty. This is a porta potty that comes with it. There you go. This never been used, and we won't no, use we it. We will not use this. 
So I guess this is how you carry it. There's wheel, there are wheels on it somewhere. I think that's how no. you let all the stuff down into this because the bottom part comes apart. This and is that's what you would take into the place where you flush. This it. is a cassette toilet. These are very popular in Europe. Mm -hmm. um, they are becoming popular here in the States. A lot of Winnebago's, a lot of RVs yeah. are coming with just cassette toilets. But this is not the cassette toilet like would be built in and then you take correct, the cassette out. Correct. This, this is a porta potty, but the bottom part is like a cassette. Correct. Correct. You so would take off. You would just take it out. And press yeah. the button, whatever yeah, you got to so do. So when you handle your business and put, you know, like water you could put in there and then you could, you could do all your, yeah. There's going to be a video somewhere on that porta potty. It will not be done by me. Porta potty 345. That's it. So yeah. there's a little private area. Hold on, let me get out of here. Yeah. There's a little private area. So you can make yourself a little room here. So you whatever you need to do. Shower, uh -huh. potty, whatever you need to do. You can do it right here. That's how you will do it. Got my privacy, please. Thankfully, it's not. Check hopefully, them. it's not cold. Well, yeah. cold is in the eye of the beholder. Yeah, but you know, you could. Like we were, we were having the conversation of can someone full time in this? Oh, yes. Under certain circumstances, yes. Is it going to be Depends easy? Depends on how adventurous you are. <laughs> There I are think, people who can I, handle this. I think this is more of a weekend adventurer type person rather than a full-time person is yeah. what I think. I, think I, there's, there's I believe that if you wanted to do this, and uh, I don't know, we can move that stuff. I think if you wanted to do this, Nick, I would get a trailer. If it was me, I would get a trailer. Like a little small trailer of some sort? Yeah, because that way I could throw a generator in there, which I could run my generator whenever I needed to for right. power. Yeah. Because, you know... You could throw a generator right there. Yeah, you could throw a generator in here if you needed to, but I would probably want like a little bit bigger generator that I could carry. You yeah. could carry extra water. Okay, you, could, you could carry a portable shower. You know, you could carry like, you know, the portable showers have their own heaters. Yeah. So you could do all of that stuff and you could go off grid and live in this. And with a smaller trailer, you could take that still off grid. You, there's four by four one, well, not really four by four, but off road ones. Yeah. So, so you can very, do a lot of stuff. Very easy in, to. very easy out. Mm -hmm. You can go hide that thing again. You got your Ram tracks here still. Yeah. So um, this is really cool. Isn't it neat? I really, you know, it's we're, we're it's debatable. I'm sure people in the so, in the comments are gonna go, no way, I'm living in that right. full time. Yes, I could live in it full time. It depends on you. Depends on you, you what you want to do. A lot of people are working remote now too, so we've mm -hmm. sold a ton of these small RVs to people that are working remote that that want to go off the grid for a couple weeks or a week here, a week there, mm -hmm. and be able to still work, still function, mm -hmm. but just just enjoy God's creation. Man, there, there's so many beautiful places in the United States that people have not seen that they can only see in like a small van. Just get off road and yeah, and just find you know find some really cool areas. Yeah, you can really just tuck in anywhere. Your your family members won't you know they, they won't like uh, they won't turn you away because this is not big. Wow, Seventeen foot. You know, That's but crazy. there's but there's uh, so much space in here. I'm just showing some of the extra space. And um, you know, this is really, you know, being that we specialize in class B RVs, we're, we're the number one dealer in the state of Florida, number three in the country for class B RVs. The, we, we have everything from 17 foot up to 24 foot class Bs. Mm -hmm. There is a niche of people that would absolutely love this thing. And I think Winnebago is going after that with the whole soulless line, with the pop tops, with, with the soulless P, the PX, and now the yeah. pocket. I think there's that's a great lineup of RVs that are attracting a, a younger a younger demographic than typical RVs. When you, when you think RVs, you think of your grandparents, mm -hmm. but but I think a lot of these are are attracting a younger demographic of RVers that that still work, that work remotely, that do all kinds of cool things on the weekends. Mm -hmm. This, I mean, imagine all your friends camping at ten and you show up with yeah, one of these things. Cool. Oh, Nick, it's I'm telling awesome. You, and the potential. So if someone asked me if I would buy something like this, I think if if I had a tough time um, getting one that's more expensive, mm -hmm. I would consider this. Yeah. You know, it's easier for you to get into it, it in is. terms of what like you said, have to put 20 down. 20 year financing yeah. on something you can drive every day. You know, some people yeah. like that aspect of it. You know, insurance is half price because it's an RV. Insurance is typically a lot cheaper on RVs than cars. Right. And then there's so many more uses for this that you yeah. can use in a Jeep or a car or something. And if you have the ability, so first of all, think about this. I think one of these vans, if you bought just a van, like as a work van or something, it's probably going to be somewhere between 36, 40 something thousand yeah, dollars. Yeah, 50,000 bucks. Somewhere. Yeah. And so when you add on what it takes to build this up, if you have the skills, you could get one of those and build it up yourself. 
Right. I think that Winnebago's done some really cool things yeah. with this. Yeah. And there's room here. Like, I can see that there's room if you had to add batteries and stuff like that. Even if you didn't want to do it underneath, which you could. Which you could. Because you could. There's, if there's AGMs underneath, the AGM, you, could, you, could, you could replace them. The Battleborns are a direct replacement for the AGMs. Yeah. Or there's space in here. Like, you know, you can see that there's places where there's space in here that if you really wanted to, obviously you've got the propane and everything here, but you can find space in here if you want to, to add things. And you could kind of upgrade it if you needed to. Yeah. But at least this could get you started, get you out on the road, get you doing things. Yeah, 100%. Um, yeah, so I, I really, really like this. I've been looking forward to checking it out, man. You've been calling me every week. Yeah. When's the pocket gonna get there? Yeah. When's the pocket gonna get there? It's yeah. great. I know it sounds weird for a guy who's big and likes the big fans. <laughs> no, I, I it's I neat like seeing it. something different. This is yeah. the only 17 footer yeah. that we have. This is the only 17 footer that's on the market right now yeah. as a new RV. So, so you know Winnebago's done a great job with their lineup. Yeah, so before we do our closeout, we'll go up front, I guess, and do that. Let's just talk about what's up on the roof. I'll get up there and show people. So there's a Coleman Mach 10. Right. It is the NDQ. It's a quiet air conditioner. Um, there is also some solar panels up there. There's the Max Air vent. Um, there's not much room for like roof racks or anything else. Yeah. But uh, you can always get creative and put stuff back here. Put the the backpack thing on the right. that you're getting for yours. Yeah, you can put some stuff on the doors yep. back here. Yep. Um, people ask about bicycles. Bicycle you, racks. You we can add bike racks, racks in yeah. the oh, We actually keep those in stock here so we can add them for yeah. people. And you know what's funny? Let's walk up front. Let's walk up front here and close out. You know what's funny, Nick? I've seen people do racks up front. Have you ever seen that? I I've have. Seen it. I have. I've... <laughs> I was like, this is... I never even thought about putting a rack up front, but I guess you could put uh, like almost the uh, like a bumper thing yep. that goes here. Yep. And then I've seen people have bicycles and things like that up front. Yeah, no, I mean, there's, there's no, I mean, you can do that. You can have, you know, boxes, you can have storage. Yeah. There's all different types of stuff you can put up front as well. The more common area is the back though, Hank. I mean, that's. Yeah. All right, so hopefully folks, you know, it's not big. It is not. It's not big. It's in but, your pocket. But I think we gave you guys a lot of details. If you want to see more and you want to actually get your hands on them, come down. How many of these do you guys have? Uh, we have two here today and we got six that'll be here next week. On the way. Yeah, okay. Six on the way. So we, so we have good. They're silver, white, and red. We have them coming in. All those in. coming in? Oh, yeah. All okay. the colors. Okay, so price. We didn't talk price here. So Let's... price, MSRP is around a hundred and something thousand, and we're going to be selling them in the 80s. So, okay. you know, depending on where we're going to offer a few different options on them with the wheels and with, with some other cool things. So, so, can, so if uh, someone wanted to buy one, they can get you guys to upgrade it before they We can. Yep. Okay. yep. Yep. We do it all the time for people. Very cool. Yeah. How and and we ship for free anywhere in the country. No matter where you live, we ship it to your front door for free but within, you within a week. Literally take this and put it in your pocket. Uh, you could. No, no, you can. <laughs> but it's easy. Okay. So where do people need to? How? Where do you want them to? Go yeah. Check out our time? website, SunshineStateRVs.com. Um, you can watch my videos that I do as well on our channel. Watch Hank's videos. We have tons of pictures, more videos, all kinds of stuff at SunshineStateRVs.com. Absolutely. Awesome. Okay, thanks so much, Nick. Yes, sir. I appreciate, appreciate you, you showing me this. Uh, shout out to everyone out there. Leave your questions and stuff like that. We'll, you know, we'll uh, we'll see if we can get you guys answers. You know, we'll and you guys are on Facebook, I know as well, We're right? On the you Facebook, the Metaverse. Club. Absolutely. All right, guys. <laughs> thanks, Nick. Sir. From Sunshine State, everyone here for uh, helping us out while we're going crazy here, going through the van. Yes. We'll see you guys on the next video. We're out of here. Woo.